NBC, home of the 92 Summer Olympics. Coming up next on Virginia's Leading News Channel, his hope is all but gone, but he maintains his innocence. We'll hear from Roger Coleman. I'm glad. It took a long time, but justice is served, and that's it. It's over. That part's over. Melissa Harrington's family responds to a judge's sentence today. And Senator Chuck Robb's political career may be on the line. We'll have details. And some lo local fans say farewell to a television legend. Hi, I'm Bruce Rader with NBA and NHL highlights and all the baseball scores coming up in sports. And summer, then winter, what will tomorrow bring? Donald Phillison on the forecast. We'll have Wavy News next. Is it on? Today, Wendy's is happy to announce a great low price on a new old-fashioned single combo. It's a quarter a pound of fresh beef, hot off the grill, made just the way you want it. Plus, Baby fries that are really big, and you get your favorite 20-ounce drink. Now, that's what I call a real meal. What's more, you save a bundle. Try Wendy's Old Fashioned Single Combo, just $2.99 for a limited time. Was it something I said? Welcome back. If you've gone away from cold cuts, you'll be delighted to hear this. Welcome back. Boar's Head Ham actually has less cholesterol than skinless chicken breast. Boar's Head Turkey Breast has far less fat than baked salmon. Boar's Head Roast Beef has fewer calories than tuna in water. Welcome back, welcome back. If you welcome said bye-bye to cold cuts, welcome, welcome back, back to Boar's Head. McDonald's takes you back to the good old days. Back to a simpler time when cars had fins, rock was king, and a cheeseburger deluxe was 99 cents. All during the month of May, you can get a cheeseburger deluxe for just 99 cents at McDonald's. So be there or be square. Here's a really hot deal from McDonald's and Bush Gardens. These discount coupons get you $3.50 off regular or new child's admission price. You can even try the sizzling new Drock and Fire roller coaster if you can take the heat. Bush Gardens discount coupons from McDonald's, the hottest tickets in town. You're watching Wavy TV 10. <laughs> now, Terry Zahn, Alvita Yule, Bruce Wader, and Don Slater. Live from Virginia's leading news channel, this is Wavy News 10 tonight. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us. Hope grows dim tonight for Roger Coleman. The convicted killer maintains his innocence as he waits in a cell near the electric chair where unless the Supreme Court steps in, he will die tomorrow night. It's now 24 hours to the minute. Roger Coleman will be led to the electric chair. So far, the television screen is the only view of it he's had. Well, I've seen that picture so many times in the 10 years I've been to throw, it doesn't have the shock value it did. But the reality of it has hit. I'm well aware of what can happen tomorrow night. He describes his mood as anxious, tense, but not fearful for himself. Right now, it's not what might happen to me at 11 o'clock that bothers me the most. It's what will happen to her. Her, his girlfriend Sharon, who he met through a personal ad eight years ago. Her daily visits have kept him going. We talk a lot about our feelings for each other. That's pretty much the main topic of conversation. There are a lot of I love you's that are exchanged. Coleman's attorneys haven't retreated from their race to exonerate Coleman, and today announced they have found a witness who can prove his innocence. But so far, they have had no response from the appellate panel, and time is running out. Roger Coleman knows he may very well be saying goodbye soon, and his last conversation will be with Sharon. I'll tell her that I love her and that love is forever. Stephanie Taylor, Wavy News 10. Stephanie will be in Greenville tomorrow night. We will, of course, keep you updated on the situation as it develops. And we have invited a local attorney to join us tonight on Contact 10. He'll be here to answer your questions about the legal procedures surrounding the death penalty. The former Navy man who killed Melissa Harrington will also die in the electric chair. It took the judge two days to make his decision about Andrew Trebral he was sentenced to death today. Melissa Harrington's father says he feels justice was served. I think the system has uh, proven that it, it works, and uh, we just hope and pray for the, all of the victims that they can start the healing process. 
Chabral goes back to court on June 4th for a post-sentence report. His accomplice, Stanley Berkeley, faces three life terms for his part in the murder. His sentencing is set for July 2nd. This wooded area in Chesapeake was the scene of a murder last month. Eliza and Lamont Gathers were found shot to death there. Today, a fourth suspect in that case turned himself in to police. Joseph Tyler is now charged with murder. He will be arraigned tomorrow. If you were watching Cruel Doubt just before our broadcast, you saw the story of Bonnie Von Stein, a mother torn between the love for her son and the knowledge that he tried to kill her. Back in July of 1988, Bonnie and her husband were asleep in their North Carolina, Washington, North Carolina home. During the night, someone came into their bedroom, attacked her, and murdered her husband. Here is the actual 911 call that alerted police to the crime. My husband must be bad. Oh, God. I can't see him. Okay, don't look at him. Bonnie, Bonnie, don't look at him. He was trying, he was trying to help me. One year later, authorities charged her son and two of his college buddies with Von Stein's murder. One of the boys got the death penalty, the other two drew prison sentences. Reaction tonight from an article that backs up the Warren Commission and its single killer theory in the assassination of President Kennedy. One author is calling a report in the Journal of the American Medical Association a political action committee and accuses it of participating in a cover-up. Doctors who treated the president when he was shot and performed the autopsy say he was shot twice from behind by a lone gunman. Tomorrow, a Norfolk grand jury will hear evidence that could lead to Senator Chuck Robb's political downfall. His former chief of staff, David McLeod, will plead guilty to actions in a Wilder tape scandal. But sources say McLeod's testimony might show that Robb staffers used campaign money to hire a Norfolk private eye. That private eye was investigating people who were looking into Robb's activities of alleged drug parties in Virginia Beach. We'll have more on this story tomorrow. Still ahead tonight, though, could a weekly sitcom be demoralizing America's values? We'll have the vice president's opinion. And local residents get involved in the effort to save a young boy's life. In the real world, the genuine article almost never goes on sale. But when it does, everybody notices. Your Chrysler Plymouth dealers proudly announce Chrysler's first national minivan sale. Plymouth Voyager and Chrysler Town & Country both offer a $500 rebate, plus hundreds more when you choose popular family options like sunscreen glass, anti-lock brakes, or built-in child seats. The genuine article is now on sale. Real advantages for the real world, only at your local Chrysler Plymouth dealers. And in our dream house, we'll have a workshop. And a big family room. And a heat pump we can really count on. Nothing but the best. Must be true love. Must be a Lennox. Family owned and operated, J.F. Whitlow Jr. and Sons has served the Tidewater area since 1949. Give them a call today. Quality, reliability, and value. At Shirley Hodges, those words have been our guarantee of customer satisfaction for over 30 years. Now, see your local dealer for special savings. The Tidewater Tides pull double duty on Memorial Day as they take on the Columbus Clippers and help raise money for the Adam Walsh Children's Fund for Missing and Abused Children. Get your $3 tickets now at any area subway location. Welcome back. If you've gone away from cold cuts, you'll be delighted to hear this. Welcome back. Boar's Head Ham actually has less cholesterol than skinless chicken breast. Boar's Head Turkey Breast has far less fat than baked salmon. Boar's Head Roast Beef has fewer calories than tuna in water. Welcome back, welcome back. If you said bye-bye to cold cuts, welcome, welcome back, back to Boar's Head. These are the standard features you can expect to find on Ford's full-size pickup. Not bad. Now, what if I told you Chevy's full-size has the same features plus extra standard features Ford doesn't have? Like what? A Vortec V6 engine for more horsepower and better mileage, more payload capacity, two-tier loading, and two-sided galvanized steel for better rust protection. Yeah, I like that. Now, what if this truck is only $189 a month? Where do I get a deal like that? Just go see your local Chevy Geo dealer for value you can depend on. Just weeks after the Rodney King verdict, there is more cause for alarm in Los Angeles. And that story tops our news from around the world tonight. A mistrial was declared today in the trial of a police officer charged with shooting and killing two Samoan brothers. The incident happened after responding to a domestic dispute. The Bush administration says the Japanese are dumping minivans on the U.S. market with unbelievably low prices. 
The U.S. International Trade Commission will decide if the imports violate global trade agreements. Vice President Dan Quayle's not happy about last night's episode of Murphy Doesn't Brown. He says the fact that it depicts a single woman having a baby shows a decline in American values. A fundraiser tonight for a Virginia Beach baby diagnosed with a rare form of brain cancer. Di uh, doctors diagnosed the cancer in 13-month-old Daniel Wilcox, Jr. He and his parents are in a North Carolina hospital waiting to see if he'll need a bone marrow transplant. Tonight, his relatives threw a bash to raise money for the operation. The bone marrow transplant is experimental, and we're just hoping that the hospital, if we don't have the money, will allow it to happen or, or do the surgery anyway. That operation costs about $150,000. If you'd like to help Daniel, you can send your donations to the Bank of Tidewater in Virginia Beach. Take a look at the weather forecast right after this. Here are tonight's winning lottery numbers. Right now, your Hyundai dealer's making deals on Scoop, America's most fun car. Dealing on Excel 2, America's most affordable car. All Hyundais have two years no cost maintenance plus a three year 36,000 mile warranty. Hurry, this deal ends June 2nd. Come on down to your nearest Hyundai dealer for great deals on great cars. Thursday only, 10 to 10 only. Find spectacular savings at Circuit City's 12 hour sale. Like our lowest price ever on this VCR with remote, just $149.97. This GE full size VHS camcorder, only $497.97. And get our lowest price ever on this Sony CD player with remote. A low $127.97. Don't miss the 12-hour sale. Thursday only at Circuit City. Welcome to Circuit City, where service is state-of-the-art. 106.9 The Fox. Pure classic rock and roll. She's got a ticket to ride. 106.9 The Fox. Your radio station for all classic rock. All the time. 106.9 The Fox. The largest on air classic rock library means the best variety. 106.9 The Fox. All classic rock, all the time. The top five reasons for buying a new Mazda truck. You can't move a piano in a hatchback. Its basic warranty is unsurpassed in its class. They've sold over a million with 90% still on the road. You can lease one for 139 bucks a month. The number one reason for choosing a Mazda truck? You can't have a tailgate party until you have a tailgate. See your Mazda dealer today for the values of the year. Wavy News 10 weather is brought to you by McDonald's and your local McDonald's restaurant. Last time I was outside, I almost got blown over. It yeah. was blowing like crazy. How's it doing out there? Well, it's tapering off just a little bit. Now, we're seeing signs that it's going to taper off even more. That's the real, real good news. And also, some more good news. We're going to see a little bit more sunshine out of the day for tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow, I think we'll just see a little bit of scud. Ooh, not bombs or anything, uh, missiles. What Scud is really, uh, if you look it up and what it is, it's wind-driven cloudiness. And we'll see a little bit of that for tomorrow blowing in off the ocean. The northeast winds are going to continue, but not quite as strong as they have been over the past 24 hours. Again, it looks like the wind should taper off just a little bit. All the rain is gone. It's on down into South Carolina and Georgia. Also, Texas has had some spotty showers and thunderstorms. A little bit of flooding still being reported across south-central Texas and some big thunderstorms going on, pretty big thunderstorms. In in Arkansas and also uh, on into Missouri as well. That cool front again is well to the south of our area. High pressure is wedging on in behind it and kicking in with a strong northeasterly flow of air. Now I've updated this next graphic here to show you what's going on with the whole situation. It looks like again this this thing is really pinching together. Uh, the, the pressure rises are very great uh, where we're seeing this wind and it's what's called a pressure gradient wind, uh, the difference in uh, air pressure and so that's going to loosen up eventually and in fact by tomorrow 
tomorrow. It should later on tonight and tomorrow. Uh, it should start to loosen up. And by Thursday morning, it looks like this. We'll see more of an easterly wind coming in off the water. Still see a little bit of hit and miss cloudiness out of the whole situation. Northeast winds for now continuing on into tomorrow. But again, the thing should be loosening up and the cloudiness should be dissipating. And we're going to end up seeing some pretty nice weather eventually out of this high pressure system. I think by the end of the week, we'll start to see some of these southerly winds as this moves on out of the picture. And we'll end up seeing a pretty nice day uh, by about Friday and Saturday. I think we'll start to see things really warm up. But you'll notice how things are really chilly across the northeast and on down into North, uh, North Carolina. And again, it's because of that high pressure. Let's have a look at what's out there right now. I'll look at Virginia Beach earlier, today, earlier tonight. And wind chimes, mostly cloudy skies right now. In Norfolk, it's 55. Same for Newport News. The low is our current reading, 55 degrees. Now, the high today, 70. That was at midnight last night before the cold air moved in. Uh, and again, uh, the afternoon high temperature only around 62 degrees. The dew point is at 48, giving us a relative humidity of 77 percent. Northeast winds are 17, gusting at times to 25, and the barometer is falling 30. 0.34. Okay, uh, we have temperatures across the area. First of all, small craft advisories in effect. Bay temperatures at 60 degrees. Air temperatures generally in the mid-50s throughout the entire area. And again, it's a bit on the breezy side, but the winds were gusting to 30 a little bit earlier on tonight. So again, winds have already begun to taper off a little bit. Stars and clouds overnight tonight. 52 for an overnight low. 52 to 55 further inland. Northeast winds at 15 to 25 miles an hour overnight tonight. Now, they should be tapering off a little bit toward morning, partly sunny skies for tomorrow. Northeast winds 10 to 20. It'll be a little chillier along the coast, a little bit warmer inland, 68. A lot warmer on toward Richmond and even toward Franklin and Waverly and Wakefield. Uh, partly cloudy uh, tomorrow night, 55 to 60 for an overnight low. Northeast winds still 10 to 20. And then for Thursday. It looks like we'll start to moderate just a little bit. Partly sunny skies, 65 along the coast, 72 further inland, a lot warmer further inland than that. East winds at about 10 to 20 miles an hour. So again, we are looking pretty good. We're starting to loosen up. The winds won't be quite as bad tomorrow. We'll start to warm up a little bit and continue to warm up on into the weekend. Have a good night, everybody. Looks pretty good. And you too. We'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Alveda? Well, Terry, you've heard about deals just too good to be true. Well, here's a story uh, that a deal was good. And it was true. Well, turn on your sides, Melissa Charbonneau has one lucky lady story. Hilda Nunez is a long way from home. She lives in a trailer park in Virginia Beach, but her heart's in Salzburg. These are the flowers, the Austrian flowers. Plane tickets to Austria don't come cheap. In 20 years, Hilda has visited her homeland only once. So when a local travel club advertised discount fares, she made a call. She could hardly believe it when the company said she had won a 1992 Jeep Cherokee. When Hilda went to get her Jeep, there was a problem with paperwork, and it dragged on for weeks. Thinking she'd been taken, Hilda called 10 on your side. We called the company. Friday, I had my Federal Express. I shipped it back. The next Tuesday, I had my money. In fact, Leisure Travel had given her a choice between the car or the cash. Hilda decided to take the money. Last week, she put $12,000 in the bank, sold her trailer, and bought a plane ticket to Salzburg, Austria. This passport is proof that sometime, somewhere, you may get something for nothing. I'm Melissa Charbonneau, Wavy News 10. Now, Melissa reminds us it's not often this kind of thing happens with prize promotion. So remember, if you're told you've won something, you should never have to pay for it. Just ahead tonight, a local farewell to tonight's show host, Johnny Carson. Here's a really hot deal from McDonald's and Busch Gardens. These discount coupons get you $3.50 off regular or new child's admission price. You can even try the sizzling new drop and fire roller coaster, if you can take the heat. Busch Gardens discount coupons from McDonald's, the hottest tickets in town. McDonald's takes you back to the good old days. Back to a simpler time when cars had fins, rock was king, and a cheeseburger deluxe was 99 cents. All during the month of May, you can get a cheeseburger deluxe for just 99 cents at McDonald's. So be there or be square. Oh, I can, I can fix anything. Yeah, oh, hi, hi. right. Well, my dad lets me fix his car. Sure. Well, my mom lets me fix my own dinner. Give me oh. a break. Prove it. Yeah. Prove it. I will. Come on. New from Hormel, it's Kids Kitchen. Hearty, great-tasting meals kids can make themselves. So fast, so good. Mm. Kids Kitchen. Microwave meals made for kids. You know how to fix a bike? Well, yeah, I do.
Under fire, under peer pressure, under racial tension, under the gun. What's happening to our neighborhoods? Why are our kids carrying guns? We can't solve all the problems of the streets, but we can begin to address them. Join Terry Zahn and Alvita Ewell in a Wavy News 10 open forum. Call in with your concerns, and together with community leaders, we'll confront this crisis. Together, we can stop the madness. Under the Gun, Violence in Hampton Roads, live from Wavy News 10 Studios, Thursday at 9. At the Olive Garden, we see things a little differently. A little more looks like this. An extra touch, like that. And just a taste, just like this. Because the way we see it, too much is just enough. The Olive Garden Italian Restaurant, where all the best of Italy is yours. Well, Johnny's moving out and Jay's moving in. But Johnny's leaving behind some pretty big shoes to fill. There are an awful lot of folks whose lives are going to be a little emptier. Carol Hoffman shows us why as we say, good night, Johnny. And now, ladies and gentlemen, here. Ed McMahon's booming and seemingly endless introduction, Doc Severinsen's eye-catching attire, and Johnny, well, where do we begin? Let's begin at the end, on May 22, 1992, when Johnny Carson takes his final golf swing. Did you know that golf swing will be number 4,531? If you're a fan, maybe you already knew that. And perhaps you have a story to tell, maybe an event in your life that's been marked by The Tonight Show. Well, one that comes to mind for me is when I first started feeling his labor pains. It was when the oh-so-familiar Tonight Show theme came on the air. I thought, if I've got a memory, maybe someone out there does too. Well, I remember when I very first started working here at Wavy TV in production. We couldn't go home at nighttime after the 11th of that uh, theme song came on. It's kind of like the closing bell, the whistle, if you will, for the crew to uh, pack it up and go home. Well, I always watched it very early to see whether Doc Severinsen, the band leader, was going to be there, because if he didn't, Tommy Newsom of Portsmouth would have the banner with Johnny right after the show opened. Man Walking on the Moon, Watergate, Iran-Contra, the SNL scandal, you name it, it's been in Carson's monologue. And it almost seems like it wasn't the end of the day until Carson talked about it at night. Some of Johnny's biggest fans have been waiting outside NBC Burbank, California's complex, hoping to make history by sitting in on one of Johnny's last shows. Two of Johnny's most loyal and dedicated viewers are Betty and Bob Kelly. It would be hard to argue that point because, you see, Betty and Bob have attended more than 800 Tonight Shows with Johnny Carson. Good night, Johnny. I'm Carol Hoffman, Wavy News 10. And tomorrow night at 11, we'll get to meet the man who will take over Johnny's desk, Jay Leno. Mm. I have to say it, I like his taste in cars. <laughs> I bet you do. Coming up next in sports, Bruce has highlights from the...